I just want to pray because we got a word for you today. Father, I just thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to come to St. Matthew's First Baptist Church here in Laurel with this great pastor, Nathan McCoy, God, and his great congregation and these wonderful young people. God, use me right now just for a moment, God, that you decrease, that you be increased through the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable with the Son, God. And I ask that you just get all the glory, honor, and praise for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you have your Bibles, I want to just read one scripture. Uh, just a series of verses in John 15, 9 through 17. You know, one of the great things that I'm excited about is that not only am I saved and sanctified by God, but I'm God's friend. Isn't it a wonderful thing to know that Jesus is your friend? Yes. He's your brother. Oh, yeah. And you know, when you got a brother and you got a friend, you can do all kinds of things. People can't stop you. When you got a big, bad, sharp, powerful brother, blessings come along with it. So in the book of John 15, 9 through 17, I just want to read a few scriptures and I'll talk about the subject of today. Amen. When you have that, say amen. amen. John 15, 9 through 17 says this. As the Father hath loved me. I mean, I saw this. That's right. I saw this. I, I should have remembered this. I saw this on YouTube. Y'all started reading the word. Y'all all started standing up. I said, I'm going to remember that today when I get to say Matthew. <laughs> See, y'all, that's, that's an awesome thing. Let me tell you how wonderful technology is. Never step foot in this building, but learned a little bit about your tradition just by watching that clip. And I said, when pastors started reading scripture, everybody stood up. So I was, I, I, amen. So praise God, you're doing the right thing. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that your joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Mm -hmm. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because servant does, the servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I have learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit. Fruit that will last. <laughs> then the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. This is my command. Love each other. Yeah. I want you to turn to somebody and say, I love you. I love in you. the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Turn to somebody else and say, I love you. I love you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Turn around and find somebody look better than you and say, I love you. I love you. In the name of Jesus. Kirk will have a hard time with that Ain't nobody here look better than, better than me. Oh, Hallelujah. Y'all come today. <laughs> Y'all laugh about that. I get the same response. Book like, I don't know who you, who you want me to talk to then. Ain't nobody look better than me in this church. <laughs> we are God's children. We are beautiful made in this image. Amen. So it's all right to feel that way. <laughs> Y'all excuse me, I'm just going to have a good time, but we're going to get a word. I hope these young people are listening. Amen. Amen. The days of excuses are over. Well, the time of mediocrity is out the door. You know, you want to think it was about the election of Barack Obama that gives us now significance. I say it was before that. Because there were so many before you that opened up doors of opportunity. That you can go to the college that you want to go to. Learn the curriculum that you want to learn. Be as good in school as you want to be and just dream like you've never dreamed before. And there's no one that can stop you from doing that except who? Yourself. And so today I say get rid of that. The title of my message today is Expect Great. You know, Expect Great. And I got that off of a commercial I was watching one time. And I remember this story I often share it. One of the things I do, I travel around the country. I came up with this presentation called Echoes of a Prophet where I actually reenact a lot of Dr. King's speeches. But the reason I do that is because Dr. King is my hero. You know, there's no greater man on this earth that can be my hero than Jesus. But to have someone that I can look at and say, wow, what a representation of a great man was Dr. King. And I wanted to learn his speeches. I started learning those speeches. I learned his speeches down to the stutter. I mean, I know it that much. People think I'm crazy. They be like, he didn't say that. I am, I am. Hey, go back and listen to the tape. He said it just like that. My wife says, oh, Lord, here we go again. It's King time. I walk in there with my books and tapes. 
I am happy to turn with you. I, I love it. And one of the things I want to share this story about that Dr. King, he was only 15 years old when he went to college. 15 years old. Good God. And he went to college with his pop. Went in there with his dad. And they went and they sat down in the office of the president. And when he sat down with the president, Danny King said this. He says, uh, Dr. Benjamin Mays, this is my son, Martin. Smart young man. 15 years old, coming to your college. Morehouse. He says that he needs a mentor, somebody that's really going to train him to be a great man. And he said these words that were remarkable. He said, now, Mr. Mays, I don't want you to give my son any money. I don't want you to give him any special privileges. He said, the one thing I want you to do is I want you to teach my son how to dream. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Mays looked back at young Martin, just like I'm looking at you, man. Y'all hit y'all hot, man. Southern Baptist Church, that's what it seemed like. <laughs> Even the kids waving, you know what we got the spirit moving up in here. I ain't never seen kids fanning like this. We're getting warm up in here. He said these words, son. He said, it must be borne in mind that the tragedy of life does not lie in not reaching your goals. But the tragedy of life lies in having no goals to reach for. He said, it's not a disaster if you die with your dreams unfulfilled. But it's a disaster, not the dream. He said it's not a calamity if you do not capture your ideal, but it is a calamity if you have no ideal to capture. Right. And it's not a disgrace if you don't reach the stars, but it's a disgrace if you have no stars to reach for. Right. Right. Ain't that something else? Right. Oh, when I first heard that, that got me fired up as a young person. I said, man, I'm ready to be somebody. <laughs> he said, young Marty, it's not your failure in life. It's your low aim. And this is what I tell young brothers and sisters that they stop aiming low. All right, that's right. Stop expecting. You know, I'm, I'm real about this, Pastor. You know, some of our kids are so satisfied with getting C's. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm going back up to the pulpit yeah, where it's safe. <laughs> the kids start staring at me when I said that. What's wrong with a C? <laughs> and ask an Asian child what's wrong with a C. And if they come in their house with anything less than an A. They're going to have to find some wells to live. And why was the result of that? Is that they go on and they become engineers and doctors. And guess who has the same mind and capability as they do? Every kid that I'm looking at in this order. Somebody got a hand clap for you. Oh. Right here, right now. I see it. I see it. You got to expect great. Yeah. You know, and as you think about your life, and you, get, and you just be satisfied with just those basic things, we miss out on so many opportunities. You know, I came up with that expect great. I don't know if you ever see the WNBA commercials. And he's had these girls that be on there. You know, these, these are basketball players, professional. And they say girls can't play defense. Girls can't shoot no jump shots. Girls can't run the court. And then they show Candy Parker coming down like this. Boom! I be like, Lord, I want to get on the court with love. And then they end that commercial and say, expect great. What you talking about? I'm saying this to the young people today. I don't care what they say about you, young man. You stand in front of the mirror when you get up in the morning before you go to school. Brush your teeth and say, expect great. Then you walk in that classroom and you tell your teacher, give me an A. I'm telling you, I heard this preacher speaking last night. I came in here to get an A. And the teacher gonna look right back at you and say, what's that preacher name? <laughs> People gotta tell you another half of the story. You gotta do your homework. <laughs> you gotta work hard. You gotta kill, listen to this, you gotta kill excuses. Well, kill excuses, get rid of them things. You know, my sons, I, I tease my sons because I, I used to get them and I say, you know what, when they come in the house and they use that four letter word that just drive me crazy. You hear this a lot, of parents. It's a four letter word. Now, y'all scared for me to say that. Once I say four letter words, I'm in the house of God, y'all ready to chase me out. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. It's the word can. Yeah. Yeah. And you know how kids do it? They do it with flavor. Yeah. I, you know, they change their little voice. I can't. You know, they change the, 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 the posture and everything. I, I can't do math. Well. I, I, can't, I can't do science. Hey, I don't know about the adults in the church. I don't know if you ever heard this one. You, you ever hear this one? They say, my teacher don't like me. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.